thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I'll be quick under the Speaker's rules. Uh, I invite your attention to guide the House whether Senator Karen Nyamu is properly dressed. And Mr. Speaker, I am really getting concerned with the kind of leadership that the majority side is showing this House. We are degenerating to really watering down the sense of Parliament. And I, I beseech the majority leader, as well as the majority whip, to really, really have a conversation with your members. It's very embarrassing what we are seeing in this house. Senator Eddie, kindly quote the rule that has been breached, and specifically rule number five. And uh, rule number five, Karen, uh, Senator Karen Nyamu is not properly dressed. She has entered this house with sleeveless dress. And uh, Mr. Speaker, you can rule whether that is appropriate. But my advice and my plea is to the majority side to take Kenyans seriously. We have been elected into this house to bring honor to the people of Kenya. It is getting enough in this house. Senator Shurange. Senator Mundigi, if it's related to that point of order. Uh, katika Senate tuko watu arupe in sitini na sapa, nataka ukosoa Senator, sio mambo ya Kenya Kwanza, ni mambo ya mtu ki, kifiake. Kwa nataka ni ukosoe, kama mtu wamefaa mbaya, sio Senator wote wa Kenya Kwanza wamefaa mbaya. Can the senator be heard in silence, please? Thank you. Now, senator, can you have a seat, please? Honorable senator, can you have your seat? Order, senators, order. Order, order, senators. Order, senators. Senator Mundigi. Senator Mundigi. Senator Mundigi, can you have your seat? Senator. Senator Mundigi. Honorable Senators. Honorable Senators. The Senate leadership has taken its time to take you through various inductions. I'm shocked. That whatever, can we be heard in silence? Can the chair be heard in silence? Senator Sifuna, you're out of order. You continue, I throw you out of the chambers. Senator Sfuna, kindly leave the chamber now. Now. Honorable Senators, this is a house of integrity and decorum. Our debate is based on our standing orders, on how we should debate, on how we should carry ourselves, on how we should dress. After a few months of sitting in these chambers, I expect us to do better. Just like Senator Kajwanka said, what a way to start the second session. The way we've started our proceedings today, it's like we've just been sworn in, and all of us are new.
every now and then you talk about being respected, you need to respect yourselves first. If you have a point of order, there's a way in this house how you can prosecute your point of order. Shouting at each other is a disorderly conduct as per standing orders. Senator Mundigi, you've come of age when the chair is standing, you freeze those seats. I was on my feet while you're busy yelling, throwing your hands in the air. That is a disorderly conduct which will not be tolerated. As per the as per Senator Nyamu, I'm going to read the speaker's rules number five for clarity. Senators are required not to enter the chamber, lounge, or dining room without being properly dressed. This means that a male senator will be dressed in a coat, collar, tie, long trousers, socks, and shoes, or service uniform, religious attire, or such other decent dressing as may be approved by the speaker from time to time. And once the speaker approved any dress code, it's normally communicated beforehand. An equivalent standard shall apply in respect of women senators who may have, who may also wear kitenge or those, or such other African attire. Senator Nyamu, I'm afraid you don't fit the bill. And I'm going to ask you to leave the chambers, you go properly, get properly dressed, and come back to the chamber. Bona speaker. Senator Nyamu, I've already ruled. Kindly abide by the ruling. Uh, before you proceed, uh, Minority Leader, as for Senator Sifuna, he will remain out of the chambers for the remainder of today's sitting. He may resume tomorrow. Mr. Speaker, Hatupingi Wamuzi Uliotoa ya Kwamba, Senator uh, sifuna atoke nje kwa sababu wamejibizana na wewe mimi nataka kusema kitu kimoja aliyeanza hakutolewa na yeye amefanya mara mbili vitendo hivyo akiwa hapa ndani ametoka pale ameketi akaja hapa akasema aliyosema na ukamwambia kaa chini hakukaa ameenda kule akajaribu kuketi ulipoendelea kuongea akarudi mara ya pili hapa na akaendelea kujibizana na wewe bwana speaker mara ya tatu amejibizana na upande huu kwa sababu alikuwa anamwambia sikiza amri ya speaker kama ni wachezaji mpira wote wawili wamefanya makosa ukipeana kadi huku ya nyekundu unapeana kadi huku nyekundu pia unawaambia wote wawili watoke nje Hiyo ndo haki itaonekana imetendeka. Sipingi wa muzi uliofanya, lakini nasema ya kwamba, hata huyo alianzisha fujo hii mpaka yule seneta akatolewa, tusi, tusionyeshe kwamba kutakuwa na kama ubaguzi wa aina yoyote. Na mimi kama bado ninaongea, seneta tafadhali kiongozi mwenzangu, ukiongea siwezi kujibisha, nitanyamaza, paka wakatu wangu ufiki. Bwana speaker, kwa hisani yako, na najua sheria inaumu pande wote mbili yule kwanza amefanya makosa ya ajabu sana ungekuwa mara ya kwanza alipokuwa kijibishana na wewe ungekuwa umemtolea kadi ya kadi nyekundu aende nje
sasa inaonekana vibaya ya kwamba sasa umelemea upande huu na upande huu umewapa afueni na alianza hii fujo yote watu wote wakiona hata wa Kenya wote walioko wameona ni yule mheshimiwa wa embu Fadhali bwana speaker ninakuomba yule pia adhabu kama ile ile uliotupatia sisi kwa upande walio wachache ipatie pia kwa wale walio wengi asante sana Senator Aaron Mr. Speaker, I completely agree with the leader of minority. Unfortunately, the picture he is painting, if it were as he has explained, then I would agree with him. Unfortunately, that is not what happened in this chamber, Mr. Speaker. When Senator Mundigi rose to speak, the minority side was actually heckling him. And it was in that uh, heckling and the noise that was being made that he missed your instructions. Otherwise, you know very well, Mr. Speaker, that Senator Mundigi is extremely respectful. And any time you as a speaker has guided him on what to do, he has always respected you. The situation is such that when he was speaking, Senator Olekina, Senator Odi, Edi, were engaging him in a shouting match, and therefore he missed on the fact that you are actually on your feet. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, secondly, this is why I agree with the verdict on Sifuna. I agree with the verdict on Sifuna, even me, the day I will directly engage you as a speaker of this house, Mr. Speaker, please throw me out for as long as is possible by law, Mr. Speaker. Because the speaker is a symbol of authority in this house. If Senator Mundigi had stood here and you had told him sit down and he engaged you and told you, Mr. Speaker, I'm not going to sit down, please throw him out even for a month. But that is not what he did. He may have not heard you clearly. That's why he continued engaging with this side. But paint a situation where you as a senator want to challenge the authority of the speaker seated there and engage him in a shouting match without being given the opportunity to speak. I don't think there is any debate for that particular matter, Mr. Speaker. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, I agree with your verdict, but the fact remains that Senator Mundigi did not contravene any of your guidance did not shout back at you, was respectful to the speaker, unlike our colleague, Senator Sifuna. Uh, what is your point of order, Senator Enoch?